This is for the Hummus Flowers brand that I would Look at these beautiful. Oh man, I would love some wine. my channel my name is Stacy Flowers and I am a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and I'm on a journey to become 100% debt free my current debt is nearly $200,000 I'm on baby step number two to repay all of my debts my income this month is $5,000 and I work for myself exclusively part-time in this video I'm going to be going over my February bi-weekly grocery haul so if you're interested in that please keep watching so I started you guys in the refrigerator because I do want to show you what I have in here I have little to nothing I did go to the um, I did go to Sam's Club and in me going to Sam's Club I was able to pick up three half gallons of almond milk which originally I had budgeted for that because it's like eight dollars and ninety cents but at the time I went with a friend and they went ahead and purchased it for me so did not have to spend any of my budget on the almond milk over here for the condiments I have a little tahini left I don't know if tahini is supposed to be stored in the refrigerator but I wasn't for sure I have a little bit of aloe vera um, concentrate mustard ketchup and that's all that I have in the refrigerator in the freezer we have some nice things in the freezer again I was at Sam's Club and so I had planned on getting the almond milk um, was my only plan but Sam's Club has these super fantastic amazing stuffed Atlantic salmon um, thingies and so I, I was also given this it comes with four so there's two more left in here because I ate the other two this is some veggie scraps left over from the last vegetables also uh, my friend <laughs> everybody's finding out about me needing more protein so I got some amazing delicious steaks this is two New York strips and two ribeyes these are like super fantastic and incredible so I do have that and then this is a massive box of tilapia when I say a massive box I mean I can't even count how many pieces of tilapia are in here but it is 10 pounds worth of tilapia so massive box of tilapia but I say that to say I won't need um, to think through meat ish sort of things because I have the two pieces of salmon here the four steaks and a massive box of tilapia to have but I will need to think through some of my refrigerator items then coming over I'm preparing some red beans to cook let us go into my pantry which is a little messier than what it normally is um and that's just because I'm really trying to like figure out my system now that I have a few more food items in here so I'm gonna take some things up to the top so you guys can see what we have here on this shelf so I didn't eat as many black beans this month I don't know I just haven't been in the mood for black beans but I did eat this is all the red beans that I have this is all the popcorn that I have left over I did go to the store um which you guys I think will have seen in a vlog and I picked up some pasta because I kept eating pasta out um so I did go to the store and pick up some pasta um, and this is how much pasta is left over from the bag. This is, I didn't have very many oats again. I just haven't been digesting oats very well. So not very mo many oats consumed this month. And then these are just like my general condiments. A little bit of honey, some grapeseed oil. This is almost out. This is like a spray olive oil. And then syrup, which I rarely use. This is actually protein powder that was given to me. I took it out of the bag because I just don't want to enter into the conversation about protein powders because I'm not... I am let's, let's have this conversation really quick I am not a fitness person yet right and so I don't want to offer fitness advice and I'm very aware that like sometimes when I mention things people want to buy those things so I want to be sound in what I'm offering so I took it out because it, does, it looks better in my pantry but also I didn't want to say this is the protein powder that I'm using and then you guys use it and then not be the right protein powder because this is my first time ever even using protein powder. So this is just a chocolate based protein powder which really wasn't that good but then when I went to Sam's Club, I will show you guys this because this isn't necessarily fitness related, this is just personal preference. Went to Sam's Club and I got this powdered peanut butter. Now this is amazing. Changed this, changed the protein powder's life, right? This is so good. I'm, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about this massive container. Again, I didn't have to pay for this, but 
in the future when I do have to pay for it. I think it was like $15. Um, so I will think through that, but as you can see, this is a ton of powder peanut butter and I use about a tablespoon for every one cup of protein powder that I make when I'm making my shakes. So, um, but yeah, this is new. The protein powder and the pasta noodles are new, but those are new additions because of the um, lifestyle change with respect to fitness. So that's what I have on my first shelf. Then when we go to the next shelf, um, I have my pepper have a little adobo I just put pulled this in here because it was a new one and it kept like spilling out a little bit and I didn't want it to keep spilling out um I did stop at the store and pick up a little bit more peanut butter um because I've just been eating the peanut butter peanut butter and apples my apples are gone then I have my quinoa here and I still have my rice um that is some tea back there then I have my essence that I made the couscous which is delicious i just have i'm when i tell you i actually had let me okay i had two bags of this and this is what's left from two bags so i've mostly just been eating the pasta just because that's the way my cravings have been set up but the quinoa is actually or not the quinoa the couscous is really delicious and if you guys remember i had a bag left over so i actually used what was in the bag before i started using what was in this jar um then we have the powder peanut butter then we have my Himalayan sea salt and then my cashew butter, which I haven't used that yet. And then everything up there is the same. The elbow noodles, I may bring those down, although the penne pasta has been like making me very happy. So I may just leave those up there for macaroni and cheese. And then I still have my um, little salmon container. Um, so that's all for, let me go this way so you guys can have like, that's all for what's in my cabinet. Then here in my spice drawer, it's still pretty much exactly where it was before. I feel really good on spices. The only spice that I know that I'm going to need some more of is basil because this week I really want to make um, these, these bay leaves, excuse me, I'm going to use all the rest of these in the side of my red beans. And I really want to make one more round of beans so that I can get back into my beans the way that I was before. And then if we come down here, you'll see, I still have my two same spaghetti squash from last time, that butternut squash, and then no sweet potatoes. So as I'm meal planning for this week, because I definitely thought that I was going to go to the grocery store twice a month probably gonna go weekly and it weekly may fit I just didn't realize how much food I would consume as a person who goes to the gym five times a week I had no idea and so I may go weekly just so I can keep track of it in my mind and it's harder for me to capture it because I'm I'm doing it at the same time I don't know how to explain it it's like I'm not not trying to keep you guys in the loop but I'm also like I am the loop like it's just I'm not thinking about it because I'm I'm not thinking about filming it because I'm actually really thinking about trying to stay on top of it. So I don't know if I'll go a week. I don't know if I'll go bi-weekly. But since I've been vlogging, I think I'll just be naturally picking up my camera more. So um, with that in mind, I'm going to do a solid meal plan for the week because I realized that that was something that's helpful. And then we're going to go to the grocery store. But that's what I have in my cabinets right now. So let's do a little meal plan. Guess what lesson I didn't learn? Shopping on Saturday. I told myself I wasn't gonna do this. But we're here now, so we're just gonna, hopefully the people behind me just duck out of the way as opposed to me moving out of the way. So we have a couple of bags. We'll get our pasta. So I guess I can show you guys that. That's new. You guys didn't see me buy pasta last time. Oh man, I would love some wine. Good googly moogly, I don't know. Pasta makes me think about wine. That may be why I wasn't purchasing it from like the beginning. Cause it definitely makes me think about wine. I once went out on a date um, with this guy in Washington DC. I was in Washington DC for like a week and I went out on a date. And um, he introduced me to a Chianti, like a really delicious Chianti. And um, every time I think of really good pasta, I think about that Chianti, which then makes me want to think about a bottle of wine but anywho this is the pasta that I got last time um, I like it I think I'm gonna stick with it the price is about $2.99 it's not in GMO what you guys saw in my cupboard is one bag of regular pasta and I've made pasta 
twice now and there's still that little bit that's left in the jar so that's quite a lot of pasta i feel like that'll be a nice amount of pasta for two weeks we're gonna make a homemade or not a homemade but a a non-dairy cauliflower alfredo i have something on my glasses on my face we're gonna make a non-dairy um alfredo sauce for the pasta so i have my pasta i am not gonna get any wine even though i can use my pocket money well let's see if they have some fetzer then i'll go ahead and get that and i'll have a little wine tonight oh you guys if you follow me on instagram this is the wine the flowers brand that i was telling you guys about um for my vision board um this is the bottle of wine that i plan to send to um everyone in my family because it has our name on it and it's like a nice bottle of wine not the chardonnay though they they have this in a i mean i guess i could send a chardonnay but i'm a cab girl so I would actually look for it in the Cabernet, but this is what it looks like and this is the label. And I've just decided to just own this since it has my name on it, quite literally. Um, so if they have Fetzer here, which I doubt that they have, I will get me a little bottle of uh, Fetzer uh, Cabernet, which is usually like five bucks. Um, and I won't take it out of my grocery budget. I will take it out of my um, pocket money. But I don't think they have it, which is okay. You know, I just want the wine because I'm in a in the wine aisle. See, these are aisles that you get to skip because you're not. This is this is this. Okay, let's have a conversation. This is the reason why a conservative budget works so much better for me because I love food and even though $50 to other people was like oh my god that's so extreme it was so helpful for me because then I didn't have to think through stuff and I didn't have to try to curb things because it was already immediately eliminated now I'm trying to buy wine because I'm buying pasta no we're gonna get out of this aisle and we're gonna go get our bulk food items good googly moogly Beautiful. They just look amazing. So I'm gonna get a yellow and an orange for my salad. So this is a massive beet. I can maybe take this beet and spiralize it. Put something interesting on my um, salad. Your perfect, perfect size snacks. Best roasted bell peppers in all the land don't see my banana peppers like just the rings I had everything on my list um, but it's not gonna look like too much because I did get more seasonings than I normally do and seasonings just so that I can kind of dress I feel like I don't have enough sides I really only have sweet potatoes and green beans let me go back and see that's all I had on my list but I'm gonna go back and see if there's some other side I can make or maybe if I just need to get a little bit more of something to make a side. I changed my mind. Actually, I'm gonna stick to my budget. Um, I'm gonna stick to my budget. Or not my budget, but I'm gonna stick to my list. And if I don't have enough sides, then when I come back in a week or two weeks, then I'll make up for those sides that I don't have because I feel like if I just try to fill it in now, I'm gonna be not pleased when I get back to the house so, so I already have a feeling this is a lot over my budget or not over my budget but it's just a lot more than what I'm used to we are back and it is dark 30 can you guys believe it's only like four something it's so dark now behind me you guys can kind of see it but we're back and I want to show you guys what I got from the grocery store all right so you guys can see everything that I got there's a little bit more seasoning in here than what's normally in here so I think that that's making up for the price but let's start with high pack produce I got chickpeas this is for the hummus I intentionally purchased it this way because I wanted to not get the can just to cut down on the preservatives and the sodium and all that jazz then because I have all that tilapia I did want to get some um, seasonings for the tilapia to be able to bread that so I have a New Orleans style and then occasion because I do like things spicy. I got a few chopped onions just because I didn't have any more of that. I got a bunch of Brussels sprouts. You guys can see here. 
And I also got a bunch of green beans. I got one beet that I'm gonna spiralize for my salads. I got five snack size sweet potatoes so that way it's easier for me to consume those. Then I got um, a little balsamic, or not a little, but I got a nice size balsamic vinegar to make some balsamic reduction for my Brussels sprouts. I also got some roasted red peppers that I can put in my sweet potato, uh, or not sweet potatoes, that I can put in my red beans that I'm going to make tonight. Um, I got vanilla extract for my uh, granola that I'm also going to make tonight. I also got some real chocolate because I'm making some protein um, peanut butter chocolate bars and then i got a bunch of spinach this spinach looks okay it doesn't look as sad as my kale like i'm so sad about this kale but i just think kale is not in season also got a little bit of kale then and i'm not for sure if kale is in season or not i'm just making that up um i got a head of broccoli this is going to be for my hummus and for me to make my cauliflower alfredo sauce then i got a cauliflower this is a very small cauliflower so again, I don't know if it's not in season or if they just, you know, their farmers had a smaller size uh, uh, portion or whatever, but this is the head of cauliflower. I got that. Then I have a yellow pepper, an orange pepper, and five Honeycrisp apples, which the Honeycrisp apples were like $1.69 a pound, which is really rare. They're like $3.99 a pound at Whole Foods, and usually they're at least $2.29 a pound everywhere I go so this was a steal to get Honeycrisp apples for $1.29 then I got my everything pretzels which I use kind of as toppings for my salads but also I'm going to use this for dipping for my hummus and then I got um, some garlic roasted naan bread I also got um, a big thing of flour because I told you guys that I wanted to start making my own bread and that is something that I want to start doing ASAP and um, the no need bread that I'm making I, I thought that I had flour already in my cabinet but I do not so that is what the flour is for so I'm super excited about making that bread and that's everything that I got from High Park Produce so you guys can see that like it's I guess maybe I'm thinking about it relative to the uh, cost because I want to say I spent like $50, $60, the price. I put the price on the screen at High Park Produce. So it just seems like I usually get more because normally my food budget is $50 total. So this just doesn't seem like a lot. But moving on to Whole Foods, I did get a little bit more penne pasta because this is just my favorite right now. Also got... Um, about a quarter of a pound of sliced almonds for the granola that I'm going to make, which is aka going to be cereal because I need a little variety. I need something to eat my oats because I've been doing it in the overnight oat way and for whatever reason, I have not been enjoying it. So, and I think it just could just be, you know, I've been eating it that way for so long that my body is like, give me something else. Um, then I have some organic popcorn and I got about two pounds of organic popcorn. And then I got about two pounds of red kidney beans. So this is the total for the grocery haul. And now what I'm gonna do, uh -oh. now what I'm gonna do is get everything put away.
So I have everything put away. I am preparing dinner now, so let's take a look. Here in the refrigerator, um, I didn't have containers for my Brussels sprouts or the rest of my green beans, so I just put them in water and left them in their current bag, but I will find a better solution for that by tomorrow. Didn't prepare my cauliflower yet or my chickpeas. I will be making my hummus tomorrow and I'll probably on Wednesday, I'll make my cauliflower Alfredo. This is my kale, back there is my spinach. Then I have my red onions, my orange pepper, yellow peppers for my salad. And then I have my almond milk and just a little bit of water up here. And then I put my roasted red peppers on the door. Then, so for dinner, I'm having spaghetti squash, green beans, and a little bit of tilapia. And I'm going to fry it or bake it up, I think, with the New Orleans seasoning is what I'm going to do it with. But let's take a look at the pantry here. Looks all nice and organized and beautiful. I think what I'm going to do um, before my next grocery haul is lift this shelf up one and then so that way tall items can fit up there so that way I can just have a row of these half gallon mason jars in the back but you can see my penne is full I also have a little bit of penne here that I'll probably go ahead and boil tonight just because I don't have um, a container for it if I don't boil it tonight then I'll put it in a smaller jar like this just for storage my red beans are filled still black beans my popcorn's filled I'm gonna make some granola tomorrow that's my protein powder back there syrup um, grapeseed oil olive oil non bread a little bit of honey this will be gone because I'm gonna make my granola pepper couscous these are going to be for my granola as well, my almond halves, and I have a little bit of essence left. I'm going to get some smaller mason jars so that that way when I make my own seasonings, I can have it in a smaller container. Then we go to the next shelf. You can see my fish fry seasoning. This is flour. These are my pretzels. I have my salmon. This tin can are, is just my open, um, uh, it's all my open teas are in there just to keep those fresh. This cashew butter is for me to use to make my uh, protein bar. So I'm super excited about making that. There's my Himalayan sea salt, Justin's peanut butter, powdered peanut butter, rice, quinoa, and then a little bit higher at the top, you can see my vanilla, oops, no, this is, here it is, vanilla um, extract and a little bit of chocolate um, for baking that I'm gonna use to make my uh, protein bars and then the just the regular seasonings that I had up there before but per usual this cupboard gives me so much satisfaction so much satisfaction so then last but certainly not least we have my sweet potato so I bought five sweet potatoes and this sweet potato I'll make sure I eat this one tomorrow because that's for my last shop and then I'm fixing that spaghetti squash I'll eat that squash and that um the spaghetti squash and the butternut squash as well um probably tomorrow if not tomorrow um sometime like tomorrow mon tomorrow tomorrow or monday I'll, I'll eat it before i'll eat it really soon is my point because i just want to get rid of it because it's been here for about a month oh and then i have my apples here and my beet there and then i put my garlic over there i'm trying to learn um how foods drain foods there's this thing where like if you put certain foods by it it'll ripen it and I can't remember what foods I kind of had clustered together but everything got ripe like that so I'm trying to separate them out eventually I'm going to get one of those like basket things where there's the three tiers or whatever it is um so that that way I can carry my uh storage my fruit better because right now I'm just storaging it in my my uh actual eating bowls so but I'm super excited I feel like this is a great amount of food to eat for the week my main focus I guess this time was getting the sauces and spices as well as the sides so that that way I can enjoy all the fish and steak that I have um, and just sort of thinking through it like that so I hope you guys enjoyed the first week of February's grocery haul so until next time thank you so much for supporting my work and I'll talk to you all very soon bye